Note, this episode assumes you've seen the episodes on the existence of God and the truth of Catholicism. Please check the directory in the video description if you haven't watched those yet. Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're talking about the existence and nature of God. Now, because God is infinite and we're not, we can't ever come to a full understanding of his nature, but what we can do is figure out a few things that God isn't. So for today, we're asking the question, is God a body? We can be sure that God isn't a body for a couple reasons. First, because bodies are only in motion because they're put in motion by some external force, and that's not the case with God, who is the first cause of motion. But if you're the first cause of something, you can't also be set in motion by that thing. Secondly, God needs to be always active as opposed to being inactive. When something is active, it can cause things to happen and therefore can be a first cause of other things. When it's inactive, however, it can't cause anything because it's not acting. On top of that, the only way to make an inactive thing active is for something else, which is active, to change it. So the very fact that God is the first cause proves that he needs to be always active, and again, the motion of a body needs to be started. It can't be always active. There are other reasons to think that God isn't a body, but these are a good place to start. Now, some people think that God must be bodily in some sense, because the Bible sometimes refers to him in bodily terms, attributing dimensions to him, talking about his height, his depth, his likeness, his arm, eyes, hand, his posture in standing or sitting, his location in going here or there, and all of these things are definitely bodily traits and characteristics. However, the thing to remember about all of these parts of the Bible is that none of them needs to be taken literally. The scriptures often use metaphorical and symbolic imagery to teach abstract or metaphysical truths, and all of these examples are like that. Length and depth are just ways of expressing God's incredible faculties and abilities, and the amazing scope of his authority and love. The likeness of God doesn't refer to a body, but to how God is over all the animals in reason and intelligence. Man is like God in that sense. Arms, eyes, and hands refer to the things that God does, the way he affects our lives and our world throughout history. Posture refers to the state of God, his strength and unchangingness. Finally, all talk of God's nearness and farness refers to the state of people's souls, not to some physical location for God to be in. So, for all these reasons, we have every reason to think that God isn't a body. Next, is God composed of matter? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.